Oh, this is just pathetic. Walmart, America's largest chain retail store, which by the way still sells guns, is reportedly removing any video game signage, demos, or displays containing violent or aggressive imagery. Now, reports are saying Walmart's doing this in the wake of yet more mass shootings, specifically the shootings in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio. But to say that is inaccurate, because this isn't happening in the wake of those mass shootings. No, let's be accurate here. This is being done in the wake of Republican politicians trying to deflect us all away from discussing the causes of mass shootings by desperately trying to reignite the video game moral panic of the 90s. And Walmart, which sells guns, is feeding into that pathetic moral panic attempt. Now I'm not gonna say that what Walmart's doing here is government propaganda, but at the very least it's feeding government propaganda. Now to its credit I guess, Walmart isn't just picking on video games here. According to a notice given to employees and shared on Twitter by reporter Kenneth Shepard, any movies that depict violence cannot be displayed in the electronics department either. Nor can, interestingly enough, any hunting season videos in the sports goods department. But video games are certainly the prime target here. In the instructions given to employees, most of the attention is on burying those no good games. According to the instructions, employees need to turn off or unplug any video game display consoles that show a demo of violent games, specifically PlayStation and Xbox units. They must cancel any events promoting combat style or third person shooter games that may be scheduled in electronics and check all signing throughout the store and remove any reference in combat or third-person shooter video games. In a statement, Walmart has said, We've taken this action out of respect for the incidents of the past week, and this action does not reflect a long-term change in our video game assortment, adding they will continue a thoughtful and thorough review of our policies. Now, on one hand, I could understand this move. The El Paso shooting took place in a Walmart, as did a shooting in South Haven, Mississippi in July. One could reasonably understand Walmart to make these moves as a sign of good taste, to not want to display violent images on its monitors following these shootings. But again, this move hasn't occurred in the wake of either of those shootings. No, this has come after politicians have gone on TV to spout drivel about how video games dehumanise people and how something needs to be done about them. This has come after Donald Trump blamed the media and blamed the glorification of violence and blamed video games in particular for something that video games obviously had no real fucking hand in. Vice spoke to one Walmart employee who saw this move for what it is, a deflection, a corporation essentially aiding and abetting politicians in misblaming things. I went into work yesterday and they handed me a copy of the instructions to remove the violent signage and gaming displays, they said. And I immediately threw it away because it's obviously a way to shift the blame from the real problem regarding the mass shootings. I didn't get to confirm this yesterday, but they aren't doing anything about the sales of guns and ammo in the store. Now, to any of you watching, you can have any stance on gun control you like, mate. My thoughts are obviously pretty clear by now, I think they're far too easy to get a hold of, as evidenced by the fact that any fascist with a desire to get famous seems to be able to get a hold of one. But regardless of your stance, let me ask you a question. Out of these two things, what do you believe is most likely to be at the site of a mass shooting? A television playing a scene from John Wick or a gun, a copy of Call of Duty World War 2, or a gun. Anyway, I'm just asking questions, mate, not trying to actually make a point or anything there, just asking questions, just asking questions. You know, I just feel if Walmart actually cared about looking tasteful, it might stop selling guns for a minute. Actually, let me revise that. It's removing the violent imagery to look tasteful. If it wanted to actually be tasteful, it might stop selling guns for a minute. But just this week, Walmart has said there's been no change in its policy regarding the sale of guns. And again, you can have whatever stance you like. I'm just saying if Walmart actually gave a shit, it might examine that policy instead of taking down a cardboard sign for Battlefield or whatever. But seriously, let's look at the availability of guns and the availability of extremist white supremacist rhetoric. As I said in a previous video, this is all a despicable, disgusting, cowardly distraction on behalf of politicians. The GOP doesn't want us looking into gun control or the fact that a lot of their 
prominent members are funded by the National Rifle Association. The GOP doesn't want us looking into radicalizing racist rhetoric, or the fact that many of their party members are radicalized rhetoric spewing racists. As I've said in previous videos, I'm not playing the game anymore, I'm not taking the bait anymore, I'm not gonna waste my time defending video games from this disingenuous bullshit. I will, however, do what I have been doing, and that's calling it out as a blatant distraction. What Walmart has done here is indicative of what these politicians have been trying to do. It's a lip service, it's performative, it's a charade. Removing demos and displays doesn't actually stop the video games being sold, it's not gonna stop the video game industry raking in billions of dollars, and it's not designed to. It's a toothless move perpetrated merely for appearances sake. And while it gets us all arguing about violent video games, it distracts us from focusing on things like, oh, I don't know, a recent report about White House officials pushing back against the Department of Homeland Security for over a year when it tried to prioritize domestic terrorism as a threat. Oh yeah, for well over a year, a literal epidemic of gun violence just wasn't all that important to this administration. And now the threat is far too real and ubiquitous to deny, they'd rather we lay the blame at the feet of Fortnite instead of their own pathetically ineffectual governance. The violent video game debate is nonsense, it was discredited decades ago, it's never been anything but nonsense, and it's not designed, especially in its recent deployment, to be anything but nonsense. It's like everything else that's been getting the blame for all this, immigration, mental health issues. It's supposed to just be noise, a dense, thick wall of noise, a way to shift accountability for the direction of this country away from the people who are supposed to be actually directing the country, but are instead directing lobbyist millions into their bank accounts. These fucking Skeksis, led as they are by the Galapagos ghoul Mitch McConnell, have no intention of making video games go away, just as they've got no real intention of making immigration go away at a foundational level. Aside from the fact that they benefit financially from both, if either of those things truly went away, what would they have left to blame? They'd have to find something else to use to pretend things aren't their responsibility. New pretend monsters to point at and say, look at them, attack them, criticize them, don't look at us, never look at us. It's all a sham. At the end of the day, and Walmart is enabling that sham to persist. And it's such a seductive sham. I mean, even in this video where I am going out of my way to not defend video games from these spurious and pointless attacks, I still have to resist the urge to launch into a diatribe about how video games don't cause mass shootings. Because the argument is so inane, so stupid, so easily combated, that it's all too tempting to roll up my sleeves and get stuck in alongside everyone else. But we can't get into that debate because then we are doing what Walmart's doing, just with a different intent. We are, however unintentionally, enabling the bullshit to propagate. And fuck that. White supremacy needs to be examined, gun control needs to be examined, the video game shit is merely smoke and mirrors, and we need to open up some windows to clear it out. Which would get rid of the smoke. I guess you'd go at the mirrors with a hammer. I don't know, I didn't think the analogy through beyond windows.